Being able to move items around the screen with the mouse adds an extra layer of input to a game or application and is easier to implement than it first seems. The process can be broken down into these steps. First, check if the mouse has been clicked. Then, check if the mouse is positioned above one of the movable objects. Detect mouse movement. And lastly, use that mouse movement to move the object by the same amount. We'll go through each step and put together the code, but first I need to create the individual movable objects. As usual, I'll begin with some starter code with a game window, loop, and event handler. I'm also importing the random module. I'll begin by creating an empty list to store the boxes. Then, using a for loop, I define random x and y coordinates as well as the width and the height to make all the boxes different. Then I create a box using the rect class and pass those arguments in, before finally adding the new box into the overall list. I also need to define a variable to track if a box has been clicked on, so I know which one to move. I'll add this variable active box up here and set it to none. Now I can go into the game loop, iterate through the list with a for loop, and draw each of those boxes onto the screen. If I run this, you can see them being generated here. Let's begin adding the click and drag logic. The first thing is to check if the mouse has been clicked, which we do using the mouse button down event. I will check for this event inside my event handler, but I want this to be specifically the left mouse button. So I add an extra check here to make sure. The next step is to check if the mouse is actually positioned on top of one of the boxes when we click. To do this, I add a for loop to iterate through all the boxes and then check for collision between the rect and the mouse cursor using the collide point method. The mouse coordinates are stored in a variable called pause when the mouse button down event is triggered, so I can pass that into this method. This will tell me if the mouse is over one of the boxes, but it won't tell me which one. I need to keep count of the boxes as I iterate through this loop, and for that I will use enumerate. Now I have a variable num which starts at zero and increases by one with each iteration. When a collision is detected, I will set my active box variable to this number like so. Next, we need to detect mouse movement. This will be done with another event, mouse motion. If I print this event out, you can see there's a variable called rel. This shows how many pixels the mouse has moved in this event. We can now use this to move the box. First, we need to check that a box has been clicked on by checking the active box variable. Then we go into the boxes list, access the box at index, and use the move underscore IP method to move it by the rel variable from earlier. This will move the rectangle together with the mouse. If I run this, you can see now I can click and drag the box. This isn't quite finished though, because if I release the mouse, the box is still stuck to it. I can't let go of the box or pick up another one. To fix this, I need to check for the mouse button being released. I will add a mouse button up event and check that it is the left mouse button like before. If that is the case, I simply set the active box back to none. Run it again and there you go. I can now click and drag these boxes around. If this was helpful, then please leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.